Hey, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the secret to growing fast on Twitter. And I'm gonna share what helps the top accounts on this platform grow by thousands of followers every day. And a tool that you can use to do it in the easiest and simplest and fastest way possible. So if you're interested in growing fast on Twitter, make sure you watch this video until the end to see exactly what the secret is. Now, if you're new here, my name is Sean, and on this channel, I teach you how to create internet income from writing online. So if you wanna see more content around that, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future videos. And with that said, let's hop into my computer and let's get on with the video right now. So I'm on my computer now, and what you're seeing is a secret to growing fast on Twitter. And it comes down to three words, high quality threads. And a thread is what you're seeing here. There is a original tweet here and there's multiple tweets under that that are posted as comments or replies. So you can see here, this is a thread that I posted on February 10th. It got 500 likes, 114,000 impressions and 262 followers in one day. And typically I get around 20 followers a day. So you can see here, if I can post, I post one of these a week, they help me grow like crazy. And if I can focus on posting one or two of these a week, not all of them are gonna go viral, but you can see the type of growth that I get when I post good threads that get traction. This is the secret that many of the top accounts use to grow quickly on Twitter and get hundreds, sometimes thousands of followers a day, is they focus on posting one or two of these threads a week. Now your next question is probably, okay, I know threads are important for me growing quickly here, but how do I come up with thread ideas? How do I come up with the format and the framework for these threads? And what I wanna to do today is show you a tool that was introduced to me from a Twitter friend named JK Molina. He's actually a partner on this, this tool that I'm gonna show you. And I wanna give you a demo and review of this tool. And I use this not only to come up with thread ideas, but also tr to track my analytics and also to help me manage all of my individual tweets as well and come up with ideas for my tweets and for my threads. So I'm gonna hop into that tool right now. It's called Tweet Hunter. And I'm gonna show you the different features that I use pretty often that really help me with my Twitter growth. So when you log in, it looks like this, and this is just your basic feed. So I post three high quality tweets a day, or I try to post three high quality tweets a day, and I schedule it out based on time here. So you can create your own time blocks and when you wanna post these, and you can see here, I have one at 6.04 a.m., 8.07 a.m., and 11.05 a.m. So all I'm doing every day is I go in here and I schedule out three tweets for the next day. And I typically do this in the morning after I write my email. And what you can also do is you can write your entire thread in here. So you can see right here, like if I type one thread intro and I do three spaces, you can do a second tweet and you can see it showing up here, right? So this is how I created this entire thread. And you can see it says right here, Tweet Hunter Pro. I created all of it within this content box here. Now there's a few other features that I'm not heavily using it, but I will be using in the future. If you want, I, I like writing, so I'm not gonna use this tool that much, but there's an AI tool where it will help you write your entire tweets. So that's pretty cool. I don't use this because I enjoy writing. I, come, I like coming up with my own ideas. But if you are someone who needs a head start or you need some help, there's an AI tool in here. You can also add images and emojis, some of the basic features here to your tweets, which I did here. You can see I added images here as well. And so this is the main feature of this platform that I use to write my tweets, schedule my tweets, and also to write my threads and schedule those. A few features that I'll probably be using in the future, number one is this auto retweet feature. I probably should do this already because I just manually retweet, but I'll probably set this for six hours is good, and I'll probably set this for four times. So this means that it's gonna auto retweet your thread every six hours. So six hours, 12 hours, 18 hours, and 24 hours later. And I typically do this manually, anyway, so I'll probably use this feature more uh, for whatever reason I just haven't yet. There's also an auto plug feature. So if your tweet gets a certain number of likes, you can have somebody join your email list or to check out a blog article or to watch a video or, or purchase a product, right? So this is an auto plug feature. I haven't used this too much yet, but I already plug it manually too. So I need to stop doing these things manually since this tool does it. But you can see here, I plugged my newsletter. So this is automatically gonna plug your newsletter link or whatever you put here. It also has an auto DM feature. This one's pretty interesting because I already do this on Facebook where I say, hey, if you're interested in whatever this thing is, a free training or video, comment this below and I'll send it over to you. And I have my virtual assistant sending this manually, but having this auto DM people 
is pretty cool, right? So I can have it say like, hey, if you're interested in this free guide, comment this below and I'll send it over to you. So I'm gonna be using this definitely within the next one to two months where it sends people an automatic DM if they comment below or they retweet or do something. Uh, so this is the main page here and this is the main features that I use is the, the scheduler for tweets and the tweet creator and the thread creator here. The second feature that I wanna show you that I use often is this engage feature. So if I go to people here, I put people that I get inspiration from, that I like their tweets, that I wanna follow, and this helps me to see it in one place. I can engage with it here, like leaving a comment, and I can also get ideas for thread formats and thread frameworks. So one guy that I follow, his name is Justin Welsh. He's really good at these, these, these threads and posting them out in a way that's easy to follow and easy to read. And I basically stole this hook from him. So he made one about growing on Twitter pretty quickly from zero to like 30,000 followers on Twitter in a certain time frame. And I was like, I like this, this formula here, this framework, I'm gonna use it and adjust it and just write about email with subscribers instead. And so this gives you really good inspiration. Obviously you don't wanna copy and paste someone's tweets, but you can look at the format of how they tweet, right? And, and the hooks that they use and the type of sentence, sentence structure that they use. So I get a lot of inspiration just looking at the things that people talk about that I respect and look up to. And it also shows you the engagement. So if I see something that gets a ton of engagement, I can look at this and say, what is this really about? And I can write my own variation of this tweet or take that same concept and apply it to something else. So I love this feature here. It helps me to see my favorite tweeters in one place and see what's getting engagement and see different ideas and structures of threads and tweets that I can use for my own profile. A third feature that I like on here is the staff picks. So the staff picks, what you can do is pick a category. So let's just go to make money online, for example. And what you can do is you can save tweets. You can see tweets that are doing well in engagement. You can get ideas again for formats and frameworks that you can use and different concepts that you can talk about. And it's broken down by category and you can save these to certain collections, right? If I want to see it on Twitter, I can just sit, click see on Twitter and it'll bring you directly to that tweet. So you can see the comments that people are leaving. You can see the direct up-to-date engagement, even though I believe this is up-to-date and you get to see the tweet on Twitter directly if you wanna go and click over to that. You can also click this edit and tweet button. I don't use this too much, but you can see here, it'll copy and paste it into your tweet scheduler and you can change out the copy and you can change out the concept if you're gonna switch it and use it for something else. Again, you do not want to copy and paste this. You use this as inspiration, the structure, the topics that are doing well, and you can, I spend a little bit of time in here every day and just scroll through and see what's doing well in engagement. So I like this feature, the staff picks. You can also go to this ideas generator tab here and get ideas for threads. So if I go here, I can type in email marketing, click enter, and you can see it'll give you some ideas of hooks that you can use for email marketing thread ideas. I don't use this too much. I more so use the staff picks and the engage feature where I can look at people that I follow and see what's working well for them. So I like these two the best, the staff picks and that people follower there. This gives you enough inspiration to see like, hey, what's doing well here? Um, let's look for one that's doing well. 100, 100, not seeing too many here. So I like to just go, I just use these basic categories here at the top and just pick one of these and look at that. Now, another place that you can go to get ideas is this search feature. So if I go to search here, and yeah, let's just use marketing or let's use uh, crypto. If I click crypto, it's gonna show you a bunch of different posts and tweets that are around this. And you can type in whatever topic that you wanna see here. It gives you some suggestions, but you can see here, it shows you threads and no threads. And so you can filter this based on you wanna see thread formats, you can see that. If you wanna see individual tweets, you can see that. But you can see here, there's a ton of ways to get inspiration for your tweets and your threads. This is how I get ideas for mine around the structure and the ideas to use in my own threads and my own tweets. So love these features. I also love how clean the UI is and how easy it is to find these different things here. But those are the main features that I use to get ideas and the different structures for my tweets. Now, one more thing I wanna show you here is the analytics. So you can see if I go here and click on analytics, it brings me to this page. You can break it down by seven, 30, 90 days, or even set a custom range here. 
and it shows you important metrics like your followers, your profile visits, your total engagement, the amount of impressions you had over seven days. So this is over seven days. This is the stats that I have here. And so you can also see your top tweets and you can see the daily follower gain by this graph here. And then I can also sort by my different tweets. If I wanna sort by impressions, this one is the, the one I just showed you is the most viewed one so far in the last seven days. And you can see all these other tweets. So what I do here is every seven days or 30 days, I'll look at the tweets that did best and got the best engagement. And I can write more tweets based on that. So this one here, for example, I know this one is about my email list, so I can write more about growing an email list. This one is about building a lean million dollar business. So I can talk more about that. This one is just a humor post about farting in jars. So uh, maybe a little more entertainment and humor I can add to my profile. So this helps me to come up with ideas around, okay, this worked here in the last month or so. I can create more tweets around this topic or this content idea or this structure. So this analytics feature is also how, how I come up with ideas and different frameworks to use based on the tweets, my own tweets that are doing well. And I can also track the performance of each individual tweet here. So that's gonna wrap up my demo and review of this Tweet Hunter tool that I use to come up with these thread ideas and these thread frameworks. And like you know, like I mentioned in this video, the secret to growing fast on Twitter is these high quality threads. And this tool, Tweet Hunter, is gonna help you create and come up with ideas for these high quality threads. Now, as you probably know, I only recommend products and services that I use and love. I'm never gonna recommend a bad or mediocre product to you. So this has my highest 10 out of 10 recommendation. It's a tool that I use every single day to grow my following, grow my audience, grow my income on Twitter and get more followers fast. And so I highly recommend this product. If you'd like to check out Tweet Hunter so that you can start growing faster on Twitter, go to seananthony.co slash Tweet Hunter. That's my affiliate link. It comes at no extra cost to you if you use that link to buy or sign up. If you don't wanna use my link, I still highly recommend it. Just go to their site directly, tweethunter.io, I believe, and sign up there. I still highly recommend using this tool if you're looking to grow faster on Twitter. One more thing, if you'd like to get daily tips around creating internet income from writing online, go to seananthony.co, opt in there. You're gonna get my free 1K a day offer buffet course. And I talk a lot more about writing online and generating an income from that. And that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.